Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a video inspired by L.S. and Kevin Aquan. So I've had this book for a while. This is the Making Faces book uh, from Kevin Aquan, and I also have like a couple of other makeup books. I have like the Bobbi Brown makeup book, I have the Michelle Phan actually wrote a book, I have those too. So I bought these a while ago, back when I was kind of first getting into makeup, and I thought like, books would kind of help me because I'm always a book person obviously you see other books here I love books so I thought you know I would get these and pick them up and try to learn from them but at the time I got these I wasn't as knowledgeable about makeup and application and everything and so I, w I wasn't advanced enough of a user of makeup to actually be able to use the book because as I'll point out later it's not like super straightforward these are more like inspirational kind of books. I mean there is there are some tutorials and there are some directions so I really do want to kind of make this a little bit of a series. I don't know how often I'll be able to put them up but I do want to go through you know the Kevin Aquan book, do some looks inspired, go through the Bobby Brown book, do some looks inspired and I was really inspired to do this too after I saw LS's video so I will throw her video up in the cards. I think she's done another one too by the time that I'm actually getting around to filming this but what I really wanted to do was finally take the time and pick one of the looks. So towards the end of the book he's got like these, <laughs> the book is so big, but there are these looks. Um, so this one's called The Vamp and of course this is the one that I was like this one I want to try this one. So it's a minimal uh, face makeup look with a smoky eye and like a deep berry lip. And let me just go ahead and read the description of the actual look. The Vamp. A beautiful young silent screen star named Clara Bow was named the It Girl of the early 1920s. She was a fun-loving spirit who was seemingly unaware of her intense sensuality. She openly toyed with the hearts of both men and women, never intending any harm, of course. Her face had a certain winsome quality that defended her against any accusation of intentional seduction. Demi Moore captures the vamp's essence perfectly. By using her doe-like eyes, fragile mouth, and pouty disposition, she could manage to soften and cajole even the most hardened and indifferent among us. So this is a look that I really want to try out. There's a bunch of other looks in here too, but this is just the one that going through here just really jumped out to me and like stood out as the one that I think would look the best on me. So we're gonna do this. Um, like I mentioned before, there are like a tiny little bit of instructions here, but what I do <laughs> now realize is that these are the bare minimum instructions. And so for like a makeup beginner, it was very hard to follow because in the instructions, they only mention applying one eyeshadow. <laughs> but from the picture, I'll see if I can get a, a copy of this picture and like blow it up here. But from the picture, I can see at least two or three different shades of eyeshadow, you know, two dark mattes, a transition, and like a deeper shade. And then I see an inner corner highlight. And nowhere in the instructions do they mention an inner corner highlight or anything. They just mention one eyeshadow. So that's the kind of thing that like now that I've got a little bit more knowledge and experience, I can see that from the picture. Whereas previously, when I first got these books, it was like, mm, I have no idea how you got from point A to point B. <laughs> so yeah, so I pulled out the products. They give you kind of a list of products that you might need towards the beginning of the instructions. So I have those all out and I'm just going to do like a talk through kind of talk tutorial, talk through tutorial, uh, attempting this look and seeing how it looks. And then um, because in the picture she's wearing a white headband, I also have a white headband. So at the end I will do my best to style this. All right, let's go through the products first. So first um, they mentioned this is a like a foundation list tutorial. All they used is concealer. So for concealer I'm using this Pat McGrath Labs Sublime something something concealer. What's the actual name? <laughs> Sublime skin fetish sublime concealer so i've got this this is one of my favorite concealers to use all around my face which is what we're going to be using it for here the instructions also mention to use a translucent face powder so i have a pressed powder from nyx and then i have my translucent powder from kylie cosmetics i'm probably going to be using a little bit of both i almost panicked because i didn't have my wet beauty blender but i don't need a wet beauty blender according to this i'm getting out of my comfort zone and trying new things today the instructions then say um, you need a little sponge, so I've got, I call this my bread thing, this is my little sponge to use for just the powder. I'm going to be using the um, concealer with like my hands or with a brush. Then all it says for the eyeshadow is a dark grayish brown powder eyeshadow. And then, you know, eyelash curler, mascara, and then a dark toned lip pencil. So for eyeshadow, I picked out two palettes just because I wasn't sure exactly which one I might be leading more towards. I have this ColourPop Blowing Smoke Palette, which is a really, really pretty, cool toned, smoky palette. And then I have this Huda Beauty Smoky Palette. And this one's definitely a little bit more warm toned. So we've got some warm browns, we've got the matte black, but this one's more warm and then this one's more cool. So we're gonna see once I start digging into the shades, which one 
I'm leaning more towards. I'm thinking more towards the, the blowing smoke just because in the picture everything looks very cool toned until we get to the lip. All right, we have eyeshadow. Oh, oh speaking of the lip, what I picked out for the lip. Um, they specifically mention a lip pencil and then a, I think they only use a lip pencil. It doesn't look like it's actually a full lipstick. I picked out a lip pencil and a lipstick. I was actually shocked I have a, a lip liner that'll work here because I really don't have that many lip liners. But this is from Mirabella. I got this in a Tri Beauty box, I believe it was. And this is their lip definer in the shade Smart. So it's like a, a deep berry. And then I have a mini from Fenty. This is the Mademoiselle uh, Lipstick in. What shade are you? Griselda. Got it. Took only a little bit. And this is a deep, deep berry shade. It's, I think it's going to be perfect. I, I, will, I literally went through my entire lip collection looking for like a good shade. And I think this is going to work really well together. And that's everything to start with. Let's jump in. So I'm going to start with the concealer and I've got, let me move my microphone over a little bit. I've got a full mirror right here. I'm going to be looking into here and then probably using the hand mirror from the ColourPop palette. But the directions actually say, for this photo, there is no foundation used, only a little bit of concealer and only where needed. If you use either product, keep the application light. And then next, apply loose powder using the sponge all over the face. So what I wanna cover up, I do get redness, and this is a very pale kind of look. So I wanna just do a light, I don't need it like directly under my eyes. I really don't think it like up here is that much of a problem, but like here, <laughs> you see these triangles right here, maybe a little on the chin. I've got a little breakout right there. So I think that's where I'm gonna be focusing this. So I'm just gonna do some stripes, put a little there, Let's do some here. And then I might need to do my nose. Yeah, just the redness is kind of throwing me off. So let's do that. I've got, let's try it with a brush first. Oh, this has foundation left on it. Oops. All right, let's try a brush that has nothing else left on it. <laughs> this is a little fluffier than I would personally prefer. But I think for this kind of look, it won't be that bad. There we go. See, just covering up that redness. A nice, just evening out. There we go. Okay. So now I am seeing a little bit of redness just on my forehead. So I think I'm just going to add a little bit more there. And then I've got breakouts down here, so we're just gonna do that. It's probably a little bit more than like Kevin Aquan would have wanted, but this is just light. I needed to cover up that redness, and now we've got a canvas. And from here, I think I'm gonna go in with the loose powder. So let's just take the loose powder. We'll take our bread thing, and I I'm trying. I'm not really gonna bake anywhere. I'm gonna try and just lightly set everywhere. There we go, looking nice and pale and ghostly. All right, the next step says to do the brows. So to achieve this look, they intentionally brushed the eyebrows down at the ends and up at the beginning to create a downturned eye and then applied a dark grayish brown eyeshadow with a brush. It was applied at a downward angle with a concentration of the shadow at the lower outer corner and on the upper inner corner, okay. So I think I have a little bit of an idea of what we're going to be doing. <laughs> but first, I'm going to just fill in my brows just a tiny bit. I know that this is supposed to be like a straight across brow, um, but I did not want to shave my brows for this. I'm not getting that <laughs> into it. But I'm just going to take the black shadow from this palette and just do a quick fill, like just straight through the middle fill. And then like the book said, it was brushed up towards the beginning and then brushed down to create a downturned eye. So like this, slight difference. <laughs> okay, so I think we're good with the brows. You know what, looking here now, they don't even mention priming your eyes either. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly, using the same concealer in that face powder, I'm just gonna prime my eyes real quick and then we'll go in with the shadow.
Okay, so the shadow is done. I think it actually came out pretty nice. I wanted it to be subdued. I tried to make the downturned look by focusing the shadow, the deep, the darkest shadows on the outer V right here and then a little bit here on the inner corner. I think it's actually a cute effect. Yeah, it's cute. Okay, so we've got that done. Um, before I go in with uh, mascara, I kind of need just a little bit of a setting spray. I think it looks a little dry and flat, which is partially what we're going for, but I think a setting spray will help a little bit. So I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild one and just... The next step on the instructions say to uh, mascara apply next top and bottom to very curled lashes completing the winsome effect. I don't think either of the mascaras I have open are transfer proof but hey well, why not let we can try. So I've got this mascara from Radial Cosmetics and it says very curled lashes so we're gonna curl these for a bit. adding a little bit to the lower lashes all right so now that the eyes are done we're gonna go to the lips and looking at the picture we've got of course the full cupid's bow so i'm just gonna follow my cupid's bow but instead of going all the way out to the edges of my lips i think i'm gonna cut it a little short but that's like the lip shape that it looks like so i'm just gonna take the lip pencil and outline oh i think i've got some more redness coming through here oh well Okay, so I probably just suck at lip liner, but it's a little bit harder than it looks. Um, so I'm just going to go in with the lipstick now and try to follow this vague outline and see how it turns out, you know? Okay, so the lipstick, it wasn't 100% what I was going for. I was trying to like shorten the sides of my lips, but I think I got the general shape right. And honestly, this color was like perfect. So like when I sit with my like mouth closed, it looks really good. Okay, so I think, I think that's the majority of the look. What I'm gonna do real quick is just try and style my hair like the picture with the headband. And then we'll be back for the final look. So the final look, you know what? I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty dang good. My only, like, the only thing I don't like, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but because we only used concealer, I've got redness coming through, like, all down my neck and over here. And I'm not a huge fan to me. It's, like, throwing off the look. So personally, I would probably do this with, like, maybe a medium coverage foundation just so I could keep the redness just covered up because I'm just eh, that's throwing it off for me but I love the smoky eye and like the bold burgundy lip it came out so pretty and I actually like it with the white headband I kind of didn't think I was going to like it but like doing the white headband and like pulling it down and having the hair kind of peek out it looks really nice especially for that kind of photo where she's clearly like looking up and you can see I don't know if she actually has hooded lids but it looked really good with my eye shape which is something I really want to like you know play with more experiment more with it's just looking for inspiration in these books and trying things outside of my comfort zone just to get the creative juices flowing so let me scoot this headband back up a little bit <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, let me know down below and if you want to see either any more looks from the Making Faces book or any of the other books that I have. I hope you guys found this at least a little bit interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.